about it. We already talked about it. Oh. <laughs> I think you got all the new paperwork. Yeah. But, <coughs> yeah. So hopefully what I gave you is up to date. Uh, I have it. We're probably close, but we still I still need to get with them <coughs> to figure out if we need to make a contract up. And on that. Mark and I can to interject if I can. But Mark and I have kind of traded some emails. He had sent me the application that you guys have in your packet. Um, the the second page of each of those documents basically talks about um, amounts approved signature of the town council president. It really won't take much to turn this into a contract. There is probably a couple things I just want to add to it, not so much take away anything, but uh, I, I think it ought to be clear to an applicant that when you apply, you've provided this information, and if it's accepted, what you've applied for is being accepted. If you don't follow through, there's going to be repercussions, um, and I think that's what we need to kind of add to this. And again, Mark and I just I haven't had the chance to really sit down and hammer through this yet, but uh, it's it's close. Mark's done the he's done all the work on this uh, to date, really. So, <clears throat> and just to clarify one thing, I think there was some confusion maybe for one or two from the last council meeting. When you look through that application where you saw that, the only reason you'll see that I put in the one and I copied this, but the one where three people looked at this before the council that was trying to weed out the the bad applicants. <laughs> Uh, the council has the final say in both of these. Uh, it won't be Jamie, it won't be me, it won't be George making this decision. It'll be the five of you will have to vote on each and every one. So just so that's clear. I think when we get to the point when you guys are ready to say, okay, we like what we see, um, we probably want to have a resolution that adopts probably the program outlines, but especially the applications um, for each of these programs. And is there... I know that we're going to be creeping into April. Next meeting's in April. Is there a timeline that you're like, yeah, I want to have this around and in place? You know what, if we can, obviously we started this for a reason. And right. As soon as we can get it, but I already figured it would be towards the middle of the end of April. So I know you're going to be gone. I will try to get with you before you leave. It probably won't happen, but that won't happen. I'll see what. <laughs> so. Don't forget to correct the thing there instead of it. Contract. Yeah, I did. I just okay. didn't send you the other yeah. data. Yeah. Right. So, 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 sure uh, yep. And I'll try to look that one up. I have see what the contract, how it was for them. But yeah, I. You know what? As long as that first meeting, we'll have a second meeting in April. So I'm, I'm good with that. You're gonna have to be that. Just an update. Like I said, this came up because of an issue, but this also isn't a rush, and they. The, the people that are rushed are clear on this because we're not doing this just a one-time thing. We're developing a program for future, so it takes time and... So. I think it looked... I'd like to thank you for your work on it, Mark, yeah. number one. And number two, I think it uh, has come a long way from the last time we looked at the sketches of this thing, and I do. I'd, like well, I'd like to see Derek and York to polish it up. And so I take home the big money. <laughs> it's all right here, man. It's all right here. <laughs> but I think it's a good thing. Thanks, thanks for us first. Ours first. <laughs> Anybody else have any other old business? No money? Uh, oh, let me see. I was going to say something. I don't know if I email them. Just want to bring up that the stellar thing, John and Mandy are still working on that with Mark. We'll be representing the town again for Marsh County Stellar. So that's good. Thank, thank those people again. And that'll probably come up. I thought John was going to be here, but I think he kind of set that out. I don't remember what we gave the last time, and I would think it's probably going to be similar. <coughs> I, I'm going to say we gave 5000 something So, and that's their administrative cost. Uh, they're doing some changes. Culver's coming back on board since they're past their, their stellar time. So hopefully with them involved, and we were in a really good spot. There were just a few things they said, so... 
hey, we get it, it will be a tremendous thing for this area. So we will all blend together with everything else. And you'll start hearing from probably John. I he likes me, but my schedule's packed with other stuff you have got me doing, which is fine. <laughs> but uh, I know they'll start working on projects, so I'm sure he'll he'll want your opinion. So start thinking. Uh, they like those green space projects, so they're really gung ho for those. The survey's out there, Mark. What? The public survey is already out there. Yes, there's still, and I think it still is. I can't tell you when it's done. If you've seen it, I know it's on Facebook. There is a, a survey they want you to take. Right. I think about two minutes, mm -hmm. just to get a little bit of information. Yeah, I didn't see one. The timeline is there. Is there a deadline? That there is, and I don't remember what I saw. March 25th. March 25th. Okay. Great. This kind of got pushed forward. The application deadline sometime the first part of April. <clears throat> so, and obviously, you remember from the last time. They have to get the app in, then it starts a process on dates after that. Right. So they at least got to get everything around by then. Okay. Where do you find this at on Facebook? Where do you find that? Uh, it's on the town's website. It's very town on the town's website. website. And ACDC. It may not be on the website, but go to the Facebook page for the town. Yeah. ACDC. I know Carrie Martin, I think she put it on there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Any new business? Yes, um, uh, the town is uh, looking at properties, and we need to get some appraisals done. So I need a motion to allow some appraisals done on some property. I'll make a motion to allow these appraisals to happen. I'll second. second. Okay. Motion yeah. and a second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carried. That's all we want to. Devolves right now. So, anybody else got any new business? <laughs> I'd get Mark to do this. <laughs> what? Tell me about some of the things that we're doing. ACDC. Oh, we did. Uh, yes, I, I was going to bring that up, and I forgot. Uh, we have a we're working. Hopefully, we haven't closed yet, but we did. Have an accepted <coughs> offer on I'm going to call it church number two. <laughs> so church number one obviously was the Wesleyan Church that the ACDC bought. Church number two would be the one at Church in Michigan. Uh, we worked with the bank. Actually, I have to give all the credit to, to Chuck. He got that ball rolling. So they finally came back with a low ball offer and said if we could accept it in the next hour, and we did. And so. Uh, all we got to do is have the, the owner sign off and we should be good to go. But uh, both those properties will be demolished, hopefully, I can't give you a time frame, a couple months. So that'll clear those up and then we'll go from there. Obviously, we're looking at both those being building lots. So residential building if lots. If anyone's interested, the stained glass windows are 300 bucks a piece and they'll be removed at that price. Now, if you want them delivered, if you're here local, we can maybe work on that, but they'll be removed and on the ground for 300 bucks a piece. There's eight of them left. Yeah. So uh, the only major thing we've got was look at more. There was 12. Yeah. There's 12 total. Yeah. Yeah. We've got uh, the school lots. We're still working on the. I don't want to call it the habitat grant, but the IHCDA grant that Habitat's working on. Uh, we've given them two lots. We're waiting to hear back on that. Plymouth kind of threw a curveball into their their project, but they're trying to get somewhere to put those other other four. I think they wanted to put in besides here in Bourbon. Uh, we also are working with a developer on the first house that we want to put down in the school lots. We're going to put hopefully two more residential houses there. Besides the, the the grant houses, I'm going to call them. Uh, and then we're also working on another project in the downtown area. Besides our Argus First, as you heard it called, the uh, Christmas in April. I don't want to steal their name, but those type of projects. So that's pretty much all I have right now, just so you're up to date on what we're trying to do. So. Okay. Well, it sounds real good. Thanks. <coughs> Anybody has anything else? We'll move on to department heads. Police department. So you should have my report. Um, just a few things. Um, we officially got our newest officer hired. 
Trent Racker, and he's very perfect and everything. He's actually on the road and um, just started a couple days ago, so he's doing good. Um, with that being said, Dave goes on vacation. He already has a vacation schedule, so he goes on vacation to be back um, about the 20th, and the school's going on the spring break or come after this week. So we plan on having Dave in the school April 22nd. So that's the plan. I don't know if anybody noticed, but the newest vehicle's out here and has the decals on it. So we gotta go outfit that. Um, I also want to publicly thank the, the clerk and her ladies in the office for helping me out today. We had a child that was 18 months old running loose in the rain and nothing but pajamas today. So I thought maybe they could help me. <laughs> um, one, I thought maybe they could recognize the kid because I didn't recognize him with all the people coming in to pay their bills. And two, I do a lot of good things, but changing to the guy who's not one um, So we, they helped out big time and CPS came and we got her under control. And that's really all I have. Not the same as last week, is it? Huh? It's not the same kid as last week, is it? Which what one was that about? On Michigan Street with a park. Was that is that with the UP, uh, UPS or FedEx? No. The UPS driver or FedEx driver wanted to found one over South Michigan Street. Yeah, South Michigan? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it probably is. We're probably talking about the same one. Okay. I'd like to add to Corey's report. Um, well, a month and a half ago or so, I asked the board to write the crossing guards into the SOPs for the department. And Corey has worked on that and sent it to Derek for his approval. Um, <coughs> with that being said, we have that ready to go for our next police commission meeting for approval of the SOPs. Now, we did not write anything human resources wise into our part of it, so to speak, for the police department. So. If the town council so chose to add them for benefit, I have no idea on that part or anything like that. That would probably be the best place in the handbook for that, I would expect. But for the department purposes, we have everything that we need, and I'm going to bring that up for passing the our next meeting. That is just next month. So that's all. I'd like to say, uh, Corey's been doing a fantastic job on some of these uh, violations and stuff, uh, code enforcements, I guess. Uh, I know I've had to call him, people called me and I've ended up calling him and he's took care of them and I've had people call me back so thank you. I said, well, it wasn't me, you know, passing on to who actually done it. It's, it's nice knowing now, you know, people are starting to want to see things cleaned up and they know we've got someone that's enforcing the codes. And we really appreciate it. Well, really do. well, thank you. That being said, if you mind, I, this month is I'm kind of behind the eight ball a little bit um, with a lot of other things <coughs> going on, but it happens. We're trying to hit it, so it happens. It, I guess I'd only add one more thing, and I know this isn't. It's not a major thing. It's not. It's not the main thing, but that's not the main thing. Um, but I think it's an important thing, and if you look at the bigger picture. And the way the department's going, and I'm really happy with it. So you have six guys. Out of that six guys, you have four officers that have college degrees. Boy, not, it's not the main thing, but I think it's, I think it's important. Um, three of them have bachelor's degrees, one an associate's degree, and two are military veterans. So I think we're doing pretty good. Real good. You must not be too hard to work for then. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, I, I just, <laughs> <laughs> not what I've heard. <laughs> I just think you need to have clear expectations. Yeah. Well, we appreciate all of you, believe me. Yeah. yeah. I called and talked to a new officer the other night. He, you know, I just Which called, one? I don't remember the name. I hate to say that, but I don't remember his name. But we talked and, uh, about that child, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he said he would take care of it. And he, he, Text me back an hour later and told me, you know, hey, I proceeded with it. I mean, he got back with me. Uh, it's probably the same Instead of just letting me hang, wanting to know if anything got done, he, he, he got back with me within the hour or so. 
Clerk's giving me a dirty look. <laughs> it's not your kid, right? <laughs> nope. All right. Thanks, Corey. Do I got any other questions for Corey? Anything? You tell me. Uh, you have my report there. Um, not a whole lot going on. We're kind of working on the contract for paving. I uh, got one back today. We got a little bit more to do with it. Um, so the next step will be having some meetings with them once we get everything and get some dates. We'll, we'll get that done. Um, got an ad in the paper for uh, replacing Harry. Today was his last day, so we're, we're looking at that. Um, yeah, that's really about it for right now. One other thing, not it, it's minor. Uh, Maple Street, we had that sealed last year. I don't know if you drove down and seen some. It's peeling up in spots. Talk to the company; they're going to come back and, and take care of all that when it warms up. So it won't stick right now, but when it does, they're going to take care of it and make it look good. Did that? Did the program come in that you were looking for for wastewater? Yeah, we got that in. Yep. And he's been working at it. Uh, he sent the test down state to get everything uh, legit, so should be good to go. Did you? <clears throat> for Harry? Uh, are you specifically looking for alignment? No. I haven't seen that. It's just labor. Yeah. Well, Harry, Harry looking for alignment. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. He, he started yeah. out that way. That's yeah. right. I thought. Yeah. Start yeah. Showing. Other questions? Thanks, Jamie. Fire department. You have my report there. Uh, things are, I think you emailed them. Yeah, we got them. All right. <laughs> First time, I'm stepping out. Uh, things are going pretty good. I think uh, it's slow right now, but um, I do have a question. Um, a couple weeks ago, the uh, I got a call from Indianapolis on a, uh, a fire truck that the town owned back in 1950 that they purchased. And uh, she wanted to know if we wanted it back. And uh, so I guess I'm here to ask tonight if we could uh, purchase that and have that back. Um, I got her down to right now $2,500. Is it parade ready? Um, it's drivable. It needs brakes. <laughs> so there is, some, there is some work. Um, how very often do you get that chance to bring back, bring back history, <clears throat> I guess you'd say? Where would you um, keep it? Well, that's the... Your garage? <laughs> Your garage. <laughs> that's a hiccup. Um, if I got to clean mine out, I'd get it halfway in. I, I talked to Jamie a little bit. He thought maybe. Um, Tucker's offered to store it. Um, so there is a place, I guess, just depends on how much we want to get it in and out and work on it. If Jamie will allow it or not. <laughs> but it's pretty neat. That could be a great, great thing. That's, uh, that's just a few pictures. I have plenty more if you want to see them, but I'll just give you the idea. So at that price, 2500 is that somebody going down and bringing it back here then? Yeah, we'll go down and get it. Okay. Uh, it was. The lady that bought it off of an old man, he had it in a parade. That's all he did with it. Um, they were going to buy the uh, old uh, firehouse in Indianapolis and open a coffee shop. So they bought it. They thought it would be nice to have a fire truck in the uh, firehouse in the coffee shop. And they both fell through, so they don't need a fire truck anymore. So she listed it and then started searching the title. That's how they got back to Argus. Come out of our equipment budget? Yeah, where we come from. Hey. <coughs> our budget? Yeah, their budget. Budget. <coughs> they also have a fire donation fund. It could come out of the equipment fund, maybe, right? Maybe. I I've been so busy, I've been meaning to come in and talk to Lisa and just haven't made it. Can I write on this? Huh? Can I write on this? Yeah, you can. Yeah, they, well, you know the names? Uh, John Grolick knows every one of those guys. <laughs> Really? That's his name, right? <laughs> Dick. Okay. Number two, number two is Dick Grolick. And then uh, he knows, he named them all off the other night. Devon Burkett, Clark Pearson. That's all I know for 
Um, Dave Shivers, his dad's the chief there. He's number one there. But you can do it out of your budget. It's a twenty-five hundred dollars. Anybody else want to say that? I'm not sure there's a few of us that help get it going and yeah. go get it. So. I'll make a motion to uh, allow the funding for, for the fire department to uh, buy back the old truck. Second. Any other discussion? All in favor? Signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Objection. Is that what uh, I need to see if the guy's got the tank or two. I'll talk to you about that later. Okay. Um, I will tell you that just out of the blue, but um, Acumen sent us a bill for our first fire run that they billed for, and so they collected $750 on one run. So that's not bad for one. Morning we were getting before we were getting exactly. 500 per structure fire, so. Yeah. Fantastic. We knew it would work. Those shit start rolling in, right? I mean, yeah, that, that was just the first one, yeah. and I think that was from like December or something, you know, because it takes a while for them to collect, so. But it, yeah. it's one. And you're running more than the MS. Oh, oh, uniforms. Oh, uniforms. Um, yeah, we did um, purchase uniforms. Uh, they will be class A with the hat. Mark wants the hat. They will have the We'll have the hat. Uh, so those should be in within the next month or so. Hats will be a little longer. Hats will be a little longer, but uh, the uniform itself should be. So uh, how often do you get to wear your classes? Well, the way they got our new SOPs, we're going to be wearing them at every parade and. Any function like that, we're going to be wearing class A's. You don't really like grades. it, but that's okay. <laughs> no, good deal. That's how it's supposed to be. Mark's got to start wearing them in these meetings. It's all about the <laughs> <bottom. laughs> we got guys that like just like to do the color guard thing, too, and they've been on us for a few years for that. Yeah. So. I know they're trying to get into the school again for uh, basketball with the, with the new uniform. They want to start doing it, presenting the flag and stuff like that. So um, there's some options that are in control. Get our name back out there, get back in the community a little bit. Yeah. So that's awesome. Thanks, Mark. EMS. Sarah. 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 He can't hear me. You're on. <laughs> so you guys again have my report. <laughs> Thank you. And I reminded Lisa about an hour ago. <laughs> um, AMO 2 is back. Um, we did send out burn alignment and oil change, and it is. I went through it. Um, restocking is a thing now. So I'm waiting for a uh, purchase of supplies, and then we can get that one out and road ready pretty soon. And then we'll have to send in Argus 1. There's a coolant leak somewhere. But getting everything back to where it needs to be <clears throat> and did we get that checked and never checked lisa did we get the insurance adjustment yeah okay so we're all good on payment and everything and then there was something that was brought up to me by um matt pitney with dispatch they were talking about there's a grant that used to be just for fire departments for radios I, I can't present you with any information because all the stuff that I found was from 2018. So I want to get more accurate information for this year. But from my understanding, it would be um, with our population of the county, we would have to pay 
680 some dollars up front for the person to create the grant and everything kind of <coughs> other things. Um, and then we would be responsible for 10% it would match and it would be one portable radio per seat and we can count our jump seat so it would be six for EMS and then also two onboard radios and those would be the they would not be the small repeaters that we have they would be the 800s and have the UHF and that's pretty much what everyone's going to now and if we could get on board with that grant I think that would probably be a good but the new 800. Yes. You know, they're all 800 systems going. Yeah. And the new 800, which means we will possibly be have to buy only radios ourselves for the tune of seventy-five thousand dollars. But this is newly. Yes. It branched out to EMS, so we've never been a part of this. So. So, I mean, that's just, I mean, there's really nothing, I can't present you with a whole lot of information. But like I said, it's just a, something to look into and I will have something, hard copy, I can email to you or whatever. I'm sure I can get all those emails from Lisa or she can branch out, so. Is that something that we're okay going forward looking into at least? Okay. What's it been, George? What's it been on? What's it been? Ten years? At least. That, about last three years, yeah. Uh, I know we're sitting on uh, seventy-five thousand dollars worth of radios over there that we won't be able to use. Yeah, we just. So well, I know I know some of these larger larger places sometimes will sell a lot of their stuff overseas. They know a decent price for them. It's just sad though that we got a switch already and they're not even. Well, I mean, being an IT guy, the early 2000s was the worst period in American history for you know coming out with new technology. Yeah. Because you know, I mean, it's common sense. Now, you ten years later, we're replacing seventy-five thousand dollars for radios because mm -hmm. now we have a new, you know, these large jumps. <laughs> yeah. It's ridiculous, but yeah. Try, try. I, I don't know. I. Um, Alibaba. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Alibaba or not, but it's a Chinese, uh, Chinese. It's it's a Chinese company that sells goods worldwide. So you can try something like that. They buy yeah. all kinds of anything electronic. Phones, radios. Something kind of weird. Computers. Yeah. I thought it was a movie. I was thinking of Aladdin. No, no, no. It's a, it's a real company. I know. I know. I know. Uh, the Philippines is about. About 15 years behind us, so yeah. um, and a lot of yeah. Chinese goods, you know, flowing out of the Philippines. So I think it would work out. Well, I just know, like even our repeaters. Like I was on the rig yesterday in the evening, and I couldn't hear anything. I just cleaning it out, getting rid of all the expired stuff. Is there any wire mesh inside those ambulances or anything? Like you know, what, right. is that what you're talking about? The repeaters. That's the little radios. Right. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, VHS I don't know. They just don't have any. Uh, this is VHS. This is yeah. the main yeah. This is the main Yeah. This comes off the water. Right. Yeah. It's a, this actually works better than the 800s. Yeah. It truly does. Because huh? we have a repeater. Right? Yeah. It's going after the repeater. Yeah. I'm using a big tech yeah. engine. Yeah. So, so what, what about buildings? Where are we at on that? Are we caught up? Or? Um, yes, actually, I think we, of the 36, I'm sorry, of the 24 runs that we have for a year to date, January, February, I believe there's only two runs that we haven't built for, but it's um, acquiring signatures and things like that. So, I'm, roughly two or three. I'm, yeah, but it's minimal. Okay. It's close. Sir, have you got any information on the cop that you've interested in looking at? You know, I've called the strike representative six times, and she's like, well, I'm not in your area. I'll give her your number. So I'm not sure who I need to contact at this point. I'm going to call back and be like, I don't care. You're in my area. Just, I need to talk to somebody about stuff. So. Yeah, do that. Yeah, I'm trying to be nice. And, Okay, give her my number. Yeah, sometimes you really gotta lean on them hard to right. I'm dealing with one right now. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Well, I don't, I'm looking into strikers because, like I said, the furnos are so cumbersome. They really are. And the ones that we do have, the emergency release, anyone that's helped lift, the emergency release doesn't work. So you kind of have to balance of whoever knows how much weight patient to try and push it with your foot, and it should just drop. And also the battery packs are <coughs> this big, weighing up 20 pounds. And the striker ones, it's like a drill back pack. It's just clicks in, clicks out. So Again, back to Dylan's technology, yeah. newer, newer battery technology. Yeah, we have 40 yeah. volt batteries now. Yeah. All right, we good with the department heads? I uh, don't make a motion to accept the department head reports. A second. Make a motion and a second. Any other discussion or questions? Not all signified saying aye. 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 Opposed? Mm -hmm. Motion carried. Mm -hmm. Claims. Lisa. The total docket for March 20th is $129,716.32. The top five claims are as follows. Number one is payroll number five at $37,081.11. Number two is Fire Services Incorporated, which is the $10,819.12. That was the insurance claim, but because it's a claim, it came up. Um, number three is Everett J. Prescott at $9,708.04. Number four is Indiana Department of Revenue sales tax at $8,808.96. And number five is the Federal Reserve at $7,583.06. The top five claims total $74,020.29 and represent 81% of the total docket. Any questions? Motion to accept. I make a motion to accept the claims report for March 20th, 2019. Uh, and claims 272 through 335. Sir. Yeah. A second. Second. Any other discussion? Uh, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Motion to adjourn. Second. Motion and second to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Same sign. Motion carried.